Of course, Elsa. I, I wouldn't miss this. Now give me a kiss. A kiss, baby. Hey, Thor! Ninja, what are you doing there, boy? With that weird, creepy YouTube crap? <laughs> no, I thought you to sit down here and listen to me. Yeah, we're on about that story I always love. Granddaddy, you told that story like a hundred times now. Ever since Dad got drunk from even remembering me for being a one night stand so many years ago. Big up, Sonny, I can't hear you. I got the old ears going on. I said, Well, it started years ago when I was the ripe old age of. Young man, I was in the woods. With a spear as my only companion. That cracked out of two pencils I stole when I beat up some old Boy Scouts. Oddly enough, they got worse smelling each time I accidentally passed them. Maybe they need the bathing badge next. But that is besides the point. There it was, walking in the wilderness with a spear in one hand and the courage in my stomach. I nearly threw up three times before I found what I was looking for. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> a deal like no other. It was food beyond my own relief. I had to for only a second, but I ran at it like a bat out of hell. No worries, no fear, and no turning back. And then a trip on the rock. <laughs> Welcome to hospital three hours later. No recollection of what the hell happened. I was just about to walk out until I saw him again, standing at the doorway. But this time, he was in a doctor's suit. He explained to me that he's a doctor for humans, since he's the only talking deer. However, me being the dedicated man, I simply ignored the facts, stabbed him in the heart, and collected his mates. He then poofed him through a smoke, and all of a sudden, my meat was already packaged. I then had the glorious idea of Crane and Barker that I could officially call me on, and no one has ever done before. Things that we just see, everything we believe. We just DPG here and today we got something absolutely delicious. We're making my own version of the whole Bob Burger craze that's going on because everyone loves the Bob's Burger. We're calling my Garlic Gouda Burger. Yeah, that's right. It's going to have Gouda cheese, it's going to have avocado, garlic, and some pretty delicious slimy leaves, onions, tomatoes, and a delicious bun. Oh, and I got a little extra ingredients for you all. We're not just using any kind of meat. But, we're gonna actually use some deer meat and some bacon. But what are we gonna do with the bacon? You'll see. As you can see, we already have everything laid out. Cheese, lettuce, bacon, buns. I just went with the cheapest buns they have at the store, don't judge me. Tomato, onions, deer, and we got a little bit of avocado right here. Cause we got to have the millennial shit going on right there with this. Organic, if this was just cheap people, I don't really care. You know my feelings about organic. If you don't know where it comes from, it's not organic. Now what we're actually going to do here is that many of you are probably wondering what the hell am I going to do with all that bacon? Well, I have a personal recipe of mine that I'm going to go with and show you real quick. First, you get the bacon of your choice. You know, uh, simple enough. Throw that to the side. Now, we're only going to use half of this because we're going to use... We're going to use one pound of deer. That's the whole point of this. Right here, this is actually a pound of deer. So we're going to use half a pound of delicious bacon. Now, what we're going to do with this bacon, we're just going to put it to the side right here. We're going to freeze that for later. Now, what we're going to do with this, actually, let's go with this one. This one has a little bit less, which is fine with me. Now, what you're going to do is make sure you got all combined, slice and dice it. Now, slice as thin as you can, because we got I got a nice little treat for you. We're going to put this in the burger, yeah, this isn't going on top. This is going right into the mix of the burger. Wait up, hold up. Take a second, take a step back. Are you seriously about to put that bacon in the actual burger? Wait, 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 wait. You mean to tell me that that thing is alive? Of course he's alive to me, young man. When I was your age, I had no friends, and my mind actually had to create something in order for me to have some sort of friend. Small loan of a million dollars. You don't need no extra seasonings. You just need motherfucking bacon, people. That's all you need. And a little bit of breadcrumbs. Don't forget the breadcrumbs because, yeah, you need the stick. Otherwise, it's just going to be a flappy mess. We don't want no flappy messes. We don't want anything flapping around. We already got enough, you know, shit flopping around this world. We don't need that flopping around. So once you got to all this, 
put this in the freezer, and get a bowl with for your deer meat and bacon. Now remember why I said we don't need a lot of ingredients as in seasoning, since bacon is already a pretty big additive, and we don't want to add anything else, because we want, this is deer meat. You want to de taste the deer meat. Deer meat, it's very, very, very goddamn lean. And you want to get your hands in here and mush it up yourself. I mean, yeah, you could make put it in a processor if you have a processor. Put it in the mixing bowl. But I'm a man. I'm a simple man. Use your hands because it actually makes it feel that you're actually earning what you're making. And I know everyone's a little different. Yeah, you just can't say it, Terry. I'm not in a goddamn restaurant, man. This is my own home. If you're serving other people, then yeah, maybe put it into another blender. But if you're just serving your family and your kids or your wife or your, your husband, I, I'm not here to judge. You know, do thing, mash it up, do what you want. I'm a man, I'm a simple man. I need simple ingredients because I just want to have a good old life. And if you have breadcrumbs, put a little bit of breadcrumbs in here. I'm actually double checking. I don't, oh, I do have breadcrumbs. I know some people would use an egg, but breadcrumbs work just as fine. Now, here's a little secret my mama tell, tell me. First, get them into a bowl. There we go. Plop them right here, press them down a little bit, make sure you have four, three or four, you should get three or four out of this. Just push it down as much as you can, you don't want it too thin, otherwise it's going to break apart. So this is going to be a question of how experienced are you with patties? Put a little bit of hole in them, because we're going to make these things kind of well done. Uh, I, I Personally, I don't know what the preference of why we put paper towels over this while we're doing everything else, I, I, I'm just going to do it. But so on and so forth, get your veggies cut. Get your avocado ready, and now it's on to actually cooking the delicious meal we're about to eat. All right, make sure you got your skillet. I put it on 300 degrees, because that's a good heat for this. Put a little dash of olive oil. So let's get this oiled up, let it heat up naturally. Uh, once you start seeing a little bit of steam, it is too hot. So we just gotta wait for it. A good uh, suggestion, as dumb as it sounds, how I like to do is get a dash of water, just Put it right there, not a lot, like a drop. Because if you put any more water, like water on something that's like, you know, boiling oil, basically, you get a fire. Do we want a fire? We don't want a fire. Oh, hell no! <laughs> All right, no better time to flip it in right now. Ah, oh, see, that's what we want. That's the type of burger we want right there. Oh, that perfect, delicious grease pattern we got going on. Oh, that's perfect. Give this a good flip. Oh, look at that. Look at, come on, move. Look at that, perfect, that's what we want. All right, now it's time for everyone's favorite part of a cheeseburger, the actual cheeseburger. So we're just gonna keep it on here just long enough when it just shows melting. What you see a lot of people do to help with the melting for the actual cheese is get a top like this and put it right on top. Uh, problem is though, uh, they ain't gonna do it. Yeesh. Man, it just simply cannot win. All right, as it's already melting, boom. These bad boys are ready to go. Now, let me show, now the final stage is to show you how to properly prepare it. First, you get your squishiest ingredients. You want to put that on the bottom. Then you put some greens on the bottom to hold it there. Man, if I was vegan, I would love this, but thank God I am not. Squish down just a little bit. Just a little bit. We can make it if we try. Just a little bit. Slice a tomato burger. You put it right there. Oh God, now we squish it out. Just a tad bit. Oh. Oh yeah. Gonna be honest. If you are not drooling from this, I think we seriously got a problem here. Oh my god! Mmm, perfect. Absolutely, positively perfect. Mmm. I can't argue with that. That's a good burger. Oh, there's the deer. Oh, the bacon. Onions. Avocado. Bon appetit, ladies and gentlemen! You know what? It took me till now. You were lying to me. This so. The whole freaking time! God damn it! I can't take this any more, old man! I'm out of here! Oh, you're gonna come alive now? Huh. Let me see this. 
God's freaking grandpappy so goddamn delusional this thing. Really? This thing? Whatever. Yeah, no, no, no. This can't be really be happening. Did, did you really say something? Huh. Oh, thank God. Listen here, you little punk. I shall be your friend, your only friend. Your grandpa has finally passed the curse onto a successor. For now, you cook when I say you do, you eat when I say you do, and you play when I want you to play. No. Okay. Good. I'll see you all next week, y'all. Who the hell are you talking to? Silence!